Hi, I'm Richard Osterlin and welcome to my 13 steps. All these routines have been used and tested over 40 some years. That one, the theme of that chapter, just look at it for me, it's called Cradle of History, is that right? And it's chapter nine? Yeah. It's a chapter nine. I, I, you know, I, I want to say a name, I'm not sure if I, the name means anything. Uh, Bothy, Bothy, something, who is that? Who is Bothy? Well, who is it? Is this something like you would put on your mouth? Yes. Is, is it like a, a chapstick? Is that yeah. what I'm sensing? Okay, thank you very much. The first step will be the presentation of mentalism, which is how I approach the art and what goes on in my head and the character I want to portray on stage and what have you. Uh, the next step will be billets, and I'll be demonstrating my perfected center tear, my natural billet switch with a lighter, and my take on Acidus Novus. Uh, we're going to go into the nail writer after that, and I'm going to cover that in a different way. I'm going to spend a lot of time showing you how I prepare my nail writers, how I get them to fit, and, uh, and how I use them, as well as some routines. Playing cards will be after that, and that will be featuring my breakthrough card system. Uh, and I'm going to teach that in detail and show you the shortcuts and, and, and what have you to really learn it thoroughly. Next we'll move into book test where I'm going to show you my handling of some standard methods as well as some of my own original ideas like my erratum effect and some effects that can be done spontaneously uh, with ungimmick books like uh, my poor man's book test and a way to force a page in a book and the Hoy book test will cover all that. Next, we'll move into blindfolds, and of course, there I'll be talking about my stainless steel blindfold. I'm going to show how it should fit and how you should use it, and the way you should tape up your eyes ahead of time when using it, and some routines with it, as well as uh, our versatile blindfold, which you can make yourself. Then we're going to move into metal bending. That's one of my favorite topics. I'm going to show you my routines for bending spoons that I've been using for years, and all the different methods I have, uh, little touches that I've developed over the years. We're going to move to stage routines. I'm going to feature two of my, my prominent stage routines that I've demonstrated in the show. One is going to be my watch routine, and secondly will be the magazine test, two of my major routines over the years. Then we're going to talk about close-up routines. I'm going to show you uh, some of the routines that I've developed over the years that I use in different close-up situations, whether it be for a trade show or just impromptu sitting around a table. This will also include some no-plop routines, like what day for any uh, date of the current year or maybe some memory work that you can do without having any props whatsoever. But then I'm going to go into cold reading. I'm going to teach you how I learned to cold read and some different methods uh, that I now use and how I incorporate them into my show. After that, I'm going to go into Q&A work. By the way, who's thinking of Iceland? That just thought just hit me out of the... Who's thinking Iceland? That's you? Right, right over there. Why? Are you, do you have you been there or something? Out of the blue, I'm standing here talking to you, and all of a sudden, like, Iceland hits me out of the, you know. I'm going to teach uh, my Thought Scan Act, which is a message reading act. And then I'm going to also uh, teach a second act that is, in fact, a, a real Q&A act. Then we're going to move into uh, hypnotism and suggestion. I'm going to show you how you can use even some mild suggestion uh, techniques in your show that have a devastating effect and, and make you look like you're, you're really a hypnotic wizard. And, uh, and they're very easy to learn and put into practice right away. And finally, we're going to end the whole 13 uh, step with muscle reading, something never really featured on any of my DVDs, but those of you who have seen my lectures and my uh, workshops know that I really feature a lot in those. So that's all going to be covered. It's material that will work in the real world. No pipe dreams here. So I can assure you that if you put the time and energy into learning this material, you will be successful. Thank you very much.